first of all just obviously make sure it's roughly level get the trailer sitting pretty level before you start and then drop down your rear legs once you drop down the leg if you just wind the jockey wheel a couple of turns just to stabilise the whole trailer and start unzipping the cover and then go around and undo all the velcro first and then start unzipping the cover once the cover's undone you can just sort of fold it into thirds and then maybe roll it into uh, thirds again and put that away for storage once you get your cover off you'll be left showing a couple of bags which is your pegs and your poles and just get those off and put them to one side for now okay the next stage is to pull the loose floor down off the edge of the camper just um, pull it down like we're doing now onto the actual floor and then the next stage from there is to actually grab the two loose independent poles that are sitting on top of the trailer as you grab all the poles you'll feel two of them are actually loose they're not connected directly to the trailer just grab those and loosen them off give them a bit of a pull and walk away and they should come up fairly easy straightforward like that you'll notice the actual rear window is left open the reason for that is to allow the air to actually get into the trailer as we're giving it a pull out just makes it a little bit easier to get up <coughs> And then next, um, just unzip the door and then you can get inside and start spreading the poles out. Okay, once you get to this stage, you can start climbing inside and looking at spreading some of the poles out. These two poles towards the end, they uh, sit in these two pockets here. those four poles in those four pockets then you can look at start raising the poles you don't need to raise them too much at this point if you can just start raising them a little bit just to get the rough shape then you can come back and tweak those a little bit later Carry on lifting the main ones up, coming vertical from the bed. At this stage, you can start looking at um, pegging the floor down. If you just get this first part of the floor near the trailer, just hold that down, sort of square with the trailer, and uh, peg that corner down. So it should look roughly in line with the trailer as it sits there. Same again on the other side of the trailer. You just peg these two down first so you've got it nice and square against the trailer. And then once you peg this side down, then you can stretch the floor out away from the actual trailer. Just a tip to help um, the tent from uh, actually falling back away from you. Might be worth sticking one guide rope out just to support that tent while you finish setting the arm. And then you can look at obviously pulling your floor a bit straighter and square. When you're pegging the floor down as you pull it away from the trailer, just look down the trailer and look like it's um, just to see if it's actually roughly in line with the trailer. So it looks sort of square away from the trailer. you got the actual tent quite square away from the trailer you'll see the floors fairly flat inside if there's a big um, sort of twist or crease across the middle you probably haven't got the tent 
quite square off the side of the trailer. It was pointed out by a customer of ours um, after setting these up that um, he said it's best to close the door when you actually start spreading your poles inside because the door is actually in the middle. He said you find leaving it open and start spreading the poles it stretches the canvas too much because the big hole with the door open then you can't shut the door so if you just shut that door before you actually spread a few of these poles out and um, obviously if now we've got it roughly set up with the floor spread out a bit we can spread our poles up a little bit more just to get the correct shape just push that back in the pocket like that that's where it should be and then just sit it back up that's part of the roof that goes uh, the poles that go for the roof to make up the tropical roof system let's go around and tweak the other ones up a little bit Sometimes you don't want to go too hard with these, sometimes it just um, puts everything out of shape a little bit if you go too hard with everything. Just push them up fairly firm and that should be good enough. don't need to raise them too much at this point if you can just start raising them a little bit just to get the rough shape <coughs> then you can come back and tweak those a little bit later carry on lifting the main ones up coming vertical from the bed this stage you can start looking at um, pegging your floor down if you just get this first part of the floor near the trailer just hold that down sort of square with the trailer and uh, peg that corner down so it should look roughly in line with the trailer as it sits there same again on the other side of the trailer you just peg these two down first so you got it nice and square against the trailer and then once you peg this side down, then you can stretch the floor out away from the actual trailer. Just a tip to help um, the tent from uh, actually falling back away from you. Might be worth sticking one guide rope out. Just support that tent while you finish setting it up. And then you can look at obviously pulling your floor a bit straighter and square. When you're pegging the floor down as you pull it away from the trailer, just look down the trailer and look like it's um, just to see if it's actually roughly in line with the trailer. So it looks sort of square away from the trailer. If, if you've got the actual tent quite square away from the trailer, you'll see the floor's fairly flat inside. If there's a big um, sort of twist or crease across the middle, you probably haven't got the tent quite square off the side of the trailer. It was pointed out by a customer of ours um, after setting these up that um, he said it's best to close the door when you actually start spreading your poles inside because the door is actually in the middle. 
he says you're fine. Leave, leaving it open and start spreading the poles, it stretches the canvas too much because the big hole with the door open, then you can't shut the door. So if you just shut that door before you actually spread a few of these poles out, and um, obviously now we've got it roughly set up with the floor spread out a bit, we can spread our poles up a little bit more just to get the correct shape. Just push that back in the pocket like that, that's where it should be, and then just sit it back up. That's part of the roof that goes, uh, the poles that go for the roof to make up the tropical roof system. Let's go around and tweak the other ones up a little bit. Sometimes you don't want to go too hard with these, sometimes it just um, puts everything out of shape a little bit if you go too hard with everything. Just push them up fairly firm and that should be good enough. You first get your poles out if you just slide the, the whole poles out of the bag. You need to find yourself two short little poles that have got a white sea clip on one end and just a black foot on the other. And there's one there. And there should be a second one there some, somewhere too. So it's a black foot on one end and a white clip on the other end. When you get inside, obviously you'll find all your uh, annex walls and floors and stuff like that actually packed well on the bed you can just chuck those on the floor um, inside if it's wet outside until you get set up properly if you don't use them you can put those back in the trailer and obviously you'll find a ladder which will be in a black bag as well ladder out and that just rests against the bed base just through those two little two little holes in the cover there and that just rests on the floor there on the extra layer of flooring so those two poles that we just mentioned the two short ones they actually go in the back of the bed there just against the corner of the uh, pole and rests on the bed base just under the mattress there. So that just supports your back wall there. You put two of those in, one in each corner. And once those both are in place, this obviously gives support to your annex poles when they come off there and start going outside. You'll find that there'll be a privacy screen that's laying flat across your bed. That just um, zips up each side, like you can see Daniel's doing here. And then once that's zipped up, there's a couple of Velcro strips. Which just hook into those loops at the top there. This is a little bit more time when you're first setting it up, but when you set it up the first time, you can actually leave this up and just fold it away with the tent when you pack it away. And once you put that pri pri privacy screen up, you can unzip it and fold it up. So you leave yourself an opening, opening to climb in bed. That's 
simply just rolls up and the cut loops that holds it up at the top.